Hey everybody, it's Dr. Tyler at Sioux Center Chiropractic and today I have Eli with us. He's our rehab specialist in our office and he's also a college football player so he's been having a couple of issues that we're going to take care of today. Been having some, uh, some neck and upper back pain as well as a little bit of hip pain and some SI joint restrictions. So we're going to assess him a little bit here first before we get started with treatment. Get him tuned up and then we'll reassess and see how he's moving. So Eli, I'm going to have you go ahead and stand right here and we're just going to check a couple ranges of motion. So go ahead and face the computer and then let's go try to touch your toes, okay? All the way down, back up, okay, hands above your head, look up at your hands. I want you to arch backwards as far as you can. You have any discomfort there? A little lower back. Let's try to rotate like you're looking behind your right shoulder with your whole spine. Any pain? And left. Any pain? Okay, hold your arms out in front and I want you to squat as low as you can, keeping those feet on the ground. Any discomfort there? In the hip? Point to where you feel it, right in there, right in the front. Okay, with your neck, I want you to look up as high as you can. Look down as far as you can. Straight, right and left. Good. And now let's check shoulders. I'm gonna have your right right hand touch the top of your left shoulder, reaching over the back of your head. Any limitation there? And then the left. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing going underneath. And another way. Any restriction or pain there? On the right, and are you feeling it more on the right side of your neck? No, left side. Left side of the neck, okay. So I'm gonna have you sit right here and we're just gonna palpate the joints. I'm gonna start in the pelvis and work our way up the lower back into the mid and upper back and neck. So what I'm doing on him here is uh, we call it mo motion palpation and I'm going in and I'm challenging the joints and I'm looking for how much springs in the joint. Uh, when the joint's moving healthy in, in a healthy manner, that joint should have a lot of spring, kind of like I'm pushing into a block of cheese. When it feels like I'm pushing into a block of wood, and it's usually tender, that gives us a good indication that there's joint restriction here and we gotta get in there and move it better. So, a little tender in there, not too bad. And then we're just gonna work our way up, a little hypermobile through the thoracolumbar junction, and that's a little, a little restricted in the thoracic spine, so I'm gonna have you bring your hands behind your head, bring your elbows together, and we're gonna shift your weight forward onto my forearm, and now just let me kind of motion you here. Not tender. So he's not getting much for motion in this mid to upper thoracic spine. And that can impact both the lower back and the neck if the thoracics aren't moving well. Um, these areas will try to take over and they're not designed to do it as well as the thoracic spine, especially in rotation and extension. So then, we're gonna just finish out the neck. Tender in there. Yeah. Eli is a wide receiver and he's playing his fifth year, his COVID year. So he's taking lots of hits and Played a lot of ball over the last several years, so it's important to make sure that everything's moving well as he's getting ready to go into fall camp. So I've definitely identified some areas of restriction. He's got sacroiliac or SI joint restriction on both sides, um, a little bit in the lower lumbar spine. Um, his biggest area of restriction is definitely in this thoracic region and then a couple spots up in the neck. So. He's got some hypertonicity or some tightness going on in the upper trapezius and the levator scapula muscles. I want to try to get those to relax first before I go in and try to manipulate. But while I got him seated, I'm going to check one more thing in his hips. Um, I'm going to have you go ahead and grab your right knee, pull it to your chest and lay on your back and just let your left leg relax. Okay. Then come back up and then let's do the other side. All the way down. Just let that leg relax. Good. Come back up. So in that test, I'm looking for, does the down leg stay fairly still or does it start to straighten out and kind of want to lift up? And that, he had a little bit of that and it's just indicating that he's got some, some hip flexor tightness. Um, we're gonna lay on your stomach and I'm just gonna assess the rotation of his hips. Yeah, 
that tight. When I go in, point to where you feel it. And on the right side. Okay. Then we'll do the, left, the other side. That's a lot smoother going, going on the in direction, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So on the left side, he's got a little bit of internal, uh, or excuse me, external hip rotation restriction. And that's affecting that right SI joint. Now I'm just going to do one more test with the hip extension. Any discomfort there? Good. This motion, how about there? A little bit. All right. Good. I think we are ready to get started. So I'm going to have Eli go ahead and sit again. And we'll go and do a few passes in the upper trap and levator scap muscles. So we'll do both sides here. You're going to kind of shrug the shoulder up. You're going to reach down to your left knee and you're going to look down to your left knee with your chin. Good. And back up. And we'll just continue to do that. Back up. What I'm doing is I'm going on specific points of the muscle and I am pinning those points down with my thumb and he's actively shortening and lengthening the muscle. That's creating tension, and that tension is just helping to release and open up the muscles so that he's got better range of motion in these in this particular area. And we're gonna do a little bit more of that in the neck. Eli's been doing a good job with our patients over the last couple months, getting them back to getting their function back after we do our hands-on techniques in the treatment rooms. Eli implements our rehab protocols on all those patients and it's been a good response overall and we're happy to have him on our team. But uh, being providers, we, we also need to get treated so it's important that we're, we're working on each other all the time too. We'll use the arm motion over here, down and away, look down and away. On your right shoulder and we're gonna go head up on the headrest and we're gonna do a psoas release so I'm gonna have you with the top leg you're just gonna bring it back reach over the top of your head with this arm and you're gonna feel that tension build under my contact so the hip flexor muscle the belly of that muscle actually sits more in the front of the abdomen right in front of the lumbar spine so a lot of people think hip flexor down here but the belly of the muscle is right here so that's why my hands are gonna be contacting where they are all right, go ahead and straighten the top leg, bring it back, and then reach above your head. Go that. And again. Now I'm gonna be just on the iliacus muscle right next to the psoas. Now just do your leg, okay? Forward, back. All right, leg first, arm second. Reach. Good. Forward. Back. Go ahead. Forward. Back. Nice. Good. All right, let's go ahead and lay on your back, Eli, and we're gonna work on the neck a little work and stretch out these occipital muscles before I do my adjustment. Eli's got a workout tonight, so about another week, week and a half before fall camp starts. You guys are lifting how many days a week right now? Three. Three days a week and then you do two conditioning workouts? Yeah. So, go ahead and do our adjustment first. I'm gonna be right here. And Eli, I just want you to relax. Wiggle your toes a little bit. Good. The other side. And relax. That's good. 
Alright, go ahead and sit up and then I'm just gonna slide this behind you. Lay on your back again. Deep breath. And you're gonna let it all the way out. And lay on this shoulder. Bring the knee up. Slide your hip forward. And we're just gonna hold there. All right, just relax, I got you. Take a breath, let it go. Good, other way. There. Let it go. Good, okay, on your back. stomach. Right. I want you to lay on this side and we're going to go here. I'm just going to stretch the glute a little bit more and work some of these hip rotators that are affecting his ability to externally rotate. One of the things we find when we're working on a patient is hips need to be mobile and if there's a lack of hip mobility what's going to happen is your body's going to try to get it above or below a lot of the time and that can lead to the lower back trying to do a little too much which can lead to pain and dysfunction or even the knee can try to take over and do too much. And the lumbar spine and the knee like to be stable. They're happy when they're in a stable environment. The hip is a ball and socket joint, likes to move. And when it's not, we have a lot of other issues that, that need to be addressed. And that's kind of how we approach our model of care. We look at everything from a functional lens. Working on these hip rotators, let's go back on your stomach. I'm going to have you sit on the end of the table and we're actually going to lift you up a little bit and we're going to do a quad stretch on here. So I want your left leg just slightly off the table. So we're going to kind of go here. You're going to start with the knee straight and then you're going to bend it back and grab your ankle and you're going to feel that pull. I'm going to start here and work my way up the bottom, both the center and outside of the quad. Okay. All right. Go ahead and bend it. next one you're going to hold it go ahead and I want you to hold the ankle and lay on your back while holding the ankle okay go all the way flat you're going to really feel that pull and once you get down there try to flatten out your lower back for me feel that yeah. come on up and we're going to do one more of those and straighten the leg bend it back build, flatten the back, come on up, right. we're just going to do a few passes on the fastest lateralis, the outside of the quad, go ahead, straight, back, straight, stomach again. I'm just going to recheck that hip range of motion. Should be close to done here. All right. Feel a little different? Yeah. That's way better. You notice that? All right. Come on up. I'll have you stand at the end of the table again and we'll go through those motions and see how you're feeling. So let's do your toe touch to start. Good. 
then hands overhead, look up, arch back. Good. Arms out in front, go ahead and do your squat. Good. And then go ahead and face this way. We'll just keep the feet together and turn right and left each direction as far as you can. Other way. Good. Go ahead and face me again. And then we'll uh, check your rotation in the neck, left and right. Look up and down. Good. And then let's go shoulder overhead, both sides, and then underneath both sides. Other way. Good. How's that all feel? Good. Yeah. Rotation. Like How about up here? Better. Open up. Yeah. Good. So that's something we'll continue to work on with Eli going forward. And what you're not seeing is some of the exercises and things that we would additionally perform with him. So I uh, hope that helps give you an idea of what we do here in our office. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.